Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Roofless Garage and today we're gonna start working on a new project. Uh, I know a lot of people told me that I have way too many projects already and that I should finish one and I agree. I'm gonna finish the van, I'm gonna start working on it pretty soon too. But I wanted to start working on this new project, the C3 Corvette that I just got recently. The idea is uh, this is a this is a C3 Corvette that's gonna be powered by a 2JC engine. So my train of thought is, imagine uh, you are in Japan, but you want to have uh, some kind of American muscle car, but something kind of like 80s, something that's rad, and you find a Corvette, that, uh, one of these C3s, no engine, no transmission, and the engine that you will most likely uh, put there will be something that it's widely available in Japan. So what I want to do is, uh, what would it be like to have one of these cars in Japan powered by a very popular Japanese drivetrain and that would still drift and will be will be cool and will be uh, will be rad. So my idea is kind of try to build something similar to to what Matt Field and Rad Dan Burkett are are being building. You know, like one has a Supra 2JC power, Matt Field is building a Corvette. And we've seen a lot of drifting Corvettes now in Formula Drift. Uh, Dirk Stratton brought a Corvette um, for Pro 2. He did great, he's coming to Pro 1 now. And I really like how these guys have been doing this new, new American car in, in this Japanese sport. So I kind of wanted both things, the American and the Japanese all in one same package. But at the same time, I don't want it like, a, like C5 or C6, something, something more, um, something different. So in this case, I think, the 80 to 82 Corvette is the best looking of the C3s and I think it's gonna look pretty good. It should look pretty nice sliding around and we'll see how it goes. So uh, we're gonna start by stripping down this car that it still has a lot of stuff that needs to be gone away before we clean everything up to get the car uh, prepped for making the roll cage and the brackets to mount the 2JC and I'll show you all the other modifications we're planning to do ahead, so let's do this! Okay guys, the first thing we're going to start doing will be removing the whole front end of the Okay guys, the first we're gonna start doing will be remove the whole front end of the car. This car has a one piece front end that actually comes off relatively easily once you remove all the glue. It, uh, it's gonna allow us to work on the engine bay and clean everything up a lot easier. And uh, one of the things that you might notice is that I'm doing all of this while the car is still in the trailer. So this car has been sitting out in the dirt in the desert for so long, uh, covered in dirt, grease, who knows. So I don't want all that to fall inside my garage. So this is just gonna fall in the trailer and when we're done, we're just gonna take the trailer to the car wash and clean it. So, let's get busy. That's gonna be the album cover. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, there's really not that much in it already. I already removed the air conditioning, the fan, the blower, uh, some of the brake components are gone already. Try to clear this as much as possible. As you can see, it already has plenty of room for a big engine and transmission. I think a 2JC will fit properly in here. And um, other than that, we're still gonna try to remove the steering. I'm gonna try to switch to a rack and pinion steering bar instead of this old Pitman arm uh, steering. And also there's so much grease and dirt in here and I'm, I'm so, so glad that we could do this with, without, the, without the front because it's gonna be a lot easier to clean. So let's do this. All right guys, so we're now inside the car and as you can see, a lot of stuff is already gone. Uh, it's all covered in this red dirt, so all this needs to be cleaned out. But a lot of the things that I need to remove from the engine bay, all the bolts are behind the dash. So the dashboard needs to come out, everything needs to come out, 
So let's start by removing the whole dash. The stereo for some reason is like bolted to the back. So it won't come out. to remove it the other day and for some reason this wouldn't come out I think like alright so the dashboard's out that wasn't easy thanks Joey the guy behind the camera he helped me pulling this thing out it wasn't a very easy maneuver but it's out and we just discovered there's a lot more stuff in here so I'm just gonna start cutting stuff because I'm not gonna use any of these wiring so Corvette people close your eyes so for people that don't know this car is a fuel injected this is the 82 was the first year where Corvettes came with a, it's called a Crossfire fuel injection system. So this old car has an ECU. So this ECU controls two injectors, that's it. There was two throttle bodies with, two inje uh, with one injector on each side. So this 80s technology ECU is controlling two injectors and that requires all these wiring. So 80s technology. One of the things that I like about taking stuff apart is that it's very immediately satisfying. It's not something that you need to do that's gonna take, you know, a month or two. You can take apart things and in two hours you get the satisfaction, you get the reward right away. Like, yeah, we're done, you know, we take everything apart. So, taking, taking stuff apart, it's easy. It has its, you know, it's, it's dirty, but in, in exchange you get an instant gratification so why don't you let me know in the comments what is the most satisfying part for you uh, from working on cars see who agrees with me Most of the wiring is out. We still have a lot of stuff in here, but most of the front is cleared. So, still have to remove the rest of the air conditioning valves and vents and stuff, and some other wires for the doors. And after that, I'm gonna move on to cutting these door panels. And after that, we can start cleaning, cleaning this thing out. I don't need any of the power windows, I don't need the glass, I don't need almost anything that's going on here right now, so I'm gonna cut all that out and get this bad boy a lot lighter.
empty door. So now we have a very lightweight door. This doesn't really weigh that much. I'm gonna leave a lot of this metal just for structure because this side is fiberglass, this side is metal. So between both of them, it actually is very nice and stiff. So I don't want this to be flapping all over the place. I'm um, gonna clean all these, all these cuts right here because right now they're pretty sharp. I'm gonna go with a, with a grinder and just make them nice and smooth. I'm probably gonna end up putting some kind of rubber or something in there. And uh, once we clean everything up, it'll be a lot nicer. So we're getting halfway there now. Okay, I think we got almost everything out. Uh, there's a couple few little things that we still need to remove, but it's probably the best time right now to start degreasing everything and cleaning up. So I'm just gonna spray the whole thing. All right, well, that's it. We pretty much got the Corvette all stripped out. It's cleaned up. There's nothing more in there. Air conditioning's gone, dashboard's gone. Everything is out of the car. And it's looking pretty nice. And it's, I think it's ready to start fabricating the roll cage and fabricating everything that we're gonna need to put the 2JZ on it. But for the next episode, I'm actually gonna be working on the Tofu van, which I've been neglecting for a little while. And I think it's about time to start putting some work on that. Putting the 1JZ on is gonna be quite a challenge. I need to get that soft frame on, modify it, get some angle stuff uh, and the suspension. So it'll be interesting. Hopefully it'll be challenging enough where I can do most of the work. If not, I'm gonna have to call some friends who are specialists in fabricating stuff. Other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for tuning on uh, another episode of Roofless Garage. And well, uh, let me know if you, uh, any comments that uh, you think I could have done a different way. Let me know what would you like to see on the next episode, which I might change my mind if you guys leave enough comments. So thanks, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.